It's springtime in Kansas. This is a place Mark Kaiser knows well, but this time he's here on a special mission. If we don't get our youth involved in activities like hunting early, we lose them way too fast these days. So I decided, you know what, I'm taking my kids hunting. In most states, you can't hunt until they're 12 years of age, like where we live in South Dakota, but not in Kansas. Kansas realizes they've got to get kids out in the field early. So we were on our way to Kansas for a spring turkey hunt. You know, I've been to Kansas many times in the past, mainly for deer, but I knew right where to go. Grandpa Boone's cabin. Brad and Dan got a great setup, a great lodge, and they've got a lot of turkeys. And that's important when you're taking kids hunting. It was a long trip to get to Kansas, 10 hours in the truck. When we got here, they were both white. Anybody home? Hey, we're in here. Oh, we made it. We're a little late. <laughs> nice to see you again. Good to see you. It's good to be back in Kansas. Long haul. Oh, man. Snow, rain. I'm glad we got down here. It's brown. Oh, but it's yeah. actually, I suppose, green here. Yeah, it's, it was 86 degrees here Monday. Now we're looking at 18 <sighs> degrees, so it's cold. We got you some birds found. And I know how hard it is to keep kids focused when they're tired. So I decided in, instead of trying to keep two kids focused at the same time, we would just split them up and hunt them one at a time. Cole was first up to bat. I was really excited about my first turkey hunt. I've been practicing for every weekend. Got dropped off at a perfect spot, except one bad thing, the wind come up. And I mean, it was, it was South Dakota wind. Didn't seem to bother the turkeys too bad. In fact, the jakes come into my Hazel Creek decoy so hard and so fast and got so aggressive, they were trying to breed it. I had to have Cole stick his head out of the blind and wave them and scare them off. And they were just going nuts. I stuck my head out and I was trying to get rid of them because they were tearing up the decoy. Even then, they wouldn't leave. They just love that real decoy. Then we got pretty cold, and then we left that stand, and then we went back to the lodge and put on warmer boots, and then we went back to a different spot where we seen some turkeys, and then we sat up there. Cole and I snuck into the blind. We sat there quietly. I figured I'd just let the turkeys make the first move, and they did. We seen them. 